Hello, welcome to Family Gamer TV. Now, as you can see, we've got the kids here set up on the Osmo game for the iPad. This uses physical tiles, sometimes letters, sometimes objects, to create a real learning experience on that tablet device. But we've also got Pramod Sharma, the CEO of Osmo, with us to tell us more about the game, how it got funded and financed for their next stage of development, and how their launch is going in a couple of days' time. So, Pramod, could you tell us a bit about Osmo? Um, Osmo, the, the idea behind Osmo is... Um, Kids love iPad, and right now the iPad experience is limited to the screen. Uh, that's the only way you can play on iPad. With Osmo, awesome, what we're trying to do is take the experience outside the screen, so you can actually interact with iPad by phys bringing physical objects around, around iPad into in, uh, into the interaction. So, for example, you could um, play a game where using real pen and a paper and interacting with iPad, or using physical manipulatives that are interacting with with iPad. So, this idea of going outside the screen and making everything around the screen as part of the experience is really the, the idea behind Osmo. And so your your first product was um, a series of games that I don't think they're not commercially available yet, is that right? Um, they are going to be available in Apple stores in US and Canada on 16th of October, that's uh, day after tomorrow. And, and they will be available on our website as well, playosmo.com. Uh, you could order from anywhere, uh, almost 20 plus countries uh, um, all, all over the world on playosmo.com Obviously creating these Osmos games isn't cheap um, have you had funding support and how's that going? Um, our, our, our the first he, huge support came from our uh, period campaign we, we, we had an idea in we had a prototype in May, to, uh, in May of this year and we got a huge support from our backers we raised more than Two million in in first couple of months in pre-sales, and now uh, on top of that, we got a, a significant backing from Axel. Um, we raised uh, 12 million Series A, which I think is going to be a crucial uh, uh, investment for building a new kind of experience, a new sort of experience on top of what we have right now. So I'm super excited about that. Now the response to the product has been quite astounding and I see it both for my own family and also anyone I show it to is like oh how come this hasn't been done before because it takes the iPad puts a little simple mirror at the top so that it can see the table and then you can play games by placing tiles and things and the iPad can see them how did you come up with the idea oh well, I think it has been um, it has been a lot of iterations um, we, we, we started with a simple problem where our kids love iPad, and I, I have a daughter, five-year-old. She loves her iPad. Um, how can we make? How can we extend the current iPad experience? Something that um, is not limited to the screen. And and we have been trying a couple of different ideas uh, on, on on this. And the idea of mirror came as sort of a technical, I would say, innovation where we suddenly realized that to really get the right form factor, you need to put iPad in front of you. And when you put iPad in front of you, the camera looks at you and not at the table. So it, 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 um, we, we were trying multiple prototypes and at some point the idea of mirror came and that was a huge, huge uh, uh, um, advance in, in our thinking. Um, but it wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't instantaneous. We have been trying a couple of ideas, and then the mirror idea come came, and then it sort of just changed the the game. Do you thinking about it? Yeah, and it seems like more and more companies are focusing on tablet devices for perhaps a younger audience. I was talking recently to Vicarious Visions, who are bringing the Skylanders game to the iPad. Oh. Have, you, have you seen that experience? What would you reflect on that a bit? I, I I haven't actually I haven't played the game uh, on on iPad, uh, but I've seen um, the scaling experience on other for other devices like the Wii and and, and Xbox. Um, I, I feel there has been a lot of evolution of how a physical world will interact with digital experience, and I see Skylanders, Wii, or Connect as sort of steps, and I see us sort of expanding that uh, expanding on that experience. Um, yeah. um, and so, so what, what, where we're really going is where it, the boundary between a real world and the digital world becomes seamless. Where you don't really see a, a, um, a separation on the experience itself. And so I see uh, Skylanders as a great inspiration for what we have done. And similarly, we and, and Connect as well a great inspiration for what we have done so far. Are you going to be bringing the 
Osmo game to other platforms, other tablets? Because I understand, I think it's just iPad at the moment, if that's right. Yes. Um, we we are a pretty small company at this point, only 13 people, and we really need to focus. And right now we realize iPad is very popular among kids. Um, it's a big enough market for us to focus. Uh, but clearly, as we start building up our team, and, and that's where we have a funding announcement as well. Uh, as we start building our team, we will expand into other platforms. But for now, our goal is to pick one platform and do an amazing job in, in terms of having high quality experience. And do you think you're going to be able to keep up um, with demand? Have you got enough supply to meet orders when it, it goes sort of goes on sale to the general public on the 16th? Um, I, I I think we're in a pretty good shape now. Uh, it wasn't the case three months back when we launched a pre-order campaign. Uh, our demand was way higher than our expectation. So we had to redo our whole uh, supply chain. But the point where we are today, I'm pretty comfortable that uh, we'll be able to scale up. Yeah. And um, it ships with... Well, there are three games available, I think. And the one that stuck yeah. out or was most popular in my, with my kids um, was the words game um, uh -huh. are there other games coming that maybe you could tease us with that you think <laughs> um um we, we definitely have been trying and the, the way we have come up with the three games is we try 10 different prototypes pick the top three and we are using the same approach even today as well where we are trying multiple different ideas and we're going to pick the best ones um it's very hard to tell at this point which one is going to be the the, the best one because a lot depends on our playtesting. Um, every single game we launch, we do uh, very extensive testing with kids. And that's how we know this game is actually fun or not fun. Um, so I would say we have a lot of requests building games in art education, math, uh, art creation, uh, creativity. And we're definitely exploring a lot of ideas in, in, uh, in those areas. Mm -hmm. And then just to sort of finish off, I understand that um, there's a lot of talent that's come into Osmo from various companies like Google, I think, and some other corporates. Um, could you talk a bit yeah, about how it came to be that you, you left your jobs and did this startup? I think um, um, at some point um, I realized that kids are spending and even others are spending a lot of time with, with tablets and, and um, it especially when I have a child at home, we have two kids, um, it became obvious that th there, there has to be a better way of um, engaging with iPad. And, and given kids love spending time and we have iPad in schools, um, I felt, I felt we, me and my, and my, my co-founder feel compelled to let's, let's try to invent some new ways of playing with iPad. And that was a huge, I would say, inspiration for us, given we have our own kids. Um, we, we share two of us, and then we have uh, quite a few people now from uh, these two work at Disney, um, other game companies. We have a good mix of people from uh, uh, game companies, entertainment companies, and high tech AI, computer vision background. And that blend is really, I think, the, the power of what we're doing because we have these three or four uh, uh, different areas of expertise where we're bringing them together. And, and trying to build, sort of new, trying to invent a new form of play. Yeah, well, that sounds that sounds really good. We've really enjoyed the the beta version in my family, and we're looking forward to that full commercial release, which is more fully featured. But thanks for the inside track. It's been really good talking to you today. Thank you so much. It was, it was great talking to you, Andy.